I'm, uh, you know, sometimes you can feel like uh, playing a game. Where are we? Right there. Sometimes you feel like a playing a game and no one better uh, to coach. Right now, which store are we going to? Steve Ward? Yes. All right. So are we going to TMZ? Oh. Celebrities. This is why we call it winging it. Exactly. Better coach than a celebrity matchmaker Steve Ward and Allie caught up with him to talk about what he does. We are talking with Steve Ward, who some of you may know from the show Tough Love. He is a matchmaker and has advice for us on dating. And the first thing is, Steve, men and women date differently. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, well, I think men are a little bit more um, focused on the instant gratification and trying to get to physical intimacy before they can even have emotional intimacy. And I think women are the complete opposite. Women need to feel an emotional connection with a man before they're willing to get physical. So what are you, some of your big do's and don'ts for flirting, dating, things like that? Well, you want to be positive at all costs. You don't want to be negative. You don't want to bring any negativity or baggage into a connection early on because you're just going to make that other person feel like you're a negative person in general. Um, you, you don't want to get into too much too soon. You don't want to discuss topics that are, that are very sensitive, like you know religious points of view or uh, politics. And you don't want to talk about past relationships right out of the gate. Uh, you never want to bring up money when you first start seeing somebody because you either sound like you're bragging or you sound like you're broke. And uh, something that can be sensitive and is a big issue is the idea of marriage. When, you know, do you bring that up and how do you go from dating somebody to, you know, maybe ending up with them forever? You know, once you feel like you've hit your stride in the relationship, as in you guys have really gotten to know each other very well, you know each other's friends and family, you have similar goals and values and interests, uh, then it just becomes a, a matter of communication. And you need to sit down and you need to convince the other person, and I know that's a very strong word, but you have the responsibility of convincing the other person that they're better off with you than without you. And uh, can you tell us a bit about the big wedding ceremony you have coming up, the 11-11-11? Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, November 11th, 2011 is the luckiest day of the century, and Crown Plaza Hotels uh, is going to be selling, celebrating that by giving away 11 weddings uh, to be officiated by yours truly on November 11th, 2011 in Times Square, New York. Great. Steve, thank you so much. Quickly, where can people go for more information? Facebook.com slash Crown Plaza. Marta. All right.